recently, a 24-hour Japanese discount chain opened its first Singaporean outlet. The discount chain in Japan is called Don Quixote, but there's already a restaurant by that name in Singapore. So over here, it's called Don Don Donkey. And the store is so popular, people started queuing up hours before it opened on the first day. So the Japanese stores sell everything from snacks to beauty products, from electronics to even sex toys. So we're here at the Singaporean outlet to check it out and see if it's worth the, the hype. hype. So let's just check out the floor map of the donkey in Singapore. They span across two levels, B1 and B2, and you can see like all the different things that they have. Actually, what I'm excited about is like the seasonal goods, because yeah. I, I don't immediately know what that is, and it might be like special stuff you can't get from elsewhere. I'm excited about the souvenir part because there's probably a lot of like Japanese snacks and, and souvenirs that you probably can't get outside of Japan. Okay, so I'm seeing one of my favorite Japanese snacks, Jagariko. It's like really yummy. This is a salad flavor, this is a cheese flavor, and it's only $1.90 here. I think if you buy it from like Japanese supermarkets, it's definitely more expensive than that. I definitely know that this is cheaper here because I've seen it in Daiso and uh, it's two dollars in Daiso and it's one seventy here, thirty cents. Cheaper. Over there you have like all the Japanese food and mm -hmm. you can just buy it here as you go along. It's actually like really hectic. It's kind of difficult to walk around because there's so many people. Okay, I've definitely never seen like this section in the Don Quixote that I've been to in Japan, like where there's service staff serving you like ice cream and all that. This feels very more like a supermarket. So you see, there are so many things in that area that's just been wiped clean. The auntie in me is actually getting very excited in this section. This is Konyaku Jelly and Yohei, when I first met him and had dinner with his dad, he told me that people would pop this in the microwave Use a knife, cut a slit into it and masturbate with it. I don't know how true that is, but yeah, he told me that story in front of his dad the first time we had dinner together. I have never been able to eat this ever since. I definitely like the fact that this place is decorated so fun. The signs are really exciting. They're like shouting at you. They're like, this is really exciting and super delicious. And it's like very enthusiastic, you know, very different from Fair Price. Oh, this is like the fish from Skiji. It says from Skiji to Singapore. Oh my god, this is like a whole crab, a hairy crab. Ah, my favorite! The crab attacked me! Look, my skin came off! Stupid, stupid crab! Egg! Great! I just cut my finger and she's like, egg! Sitan! I love Japanese sitan! So good! $3.90, is that a good price? Oh shit, your finger's bleeding. Now she notices. Wait, 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 I can fix this. They sell ice pack at this location. And people are gonna use this ice pack to like, you know, cool their food and it's been contaminated with my bloody finger. Okay, so we're done with B2. We're just gonna head up the escalator to B1 right now to see what else they have. Right as we enter, this is the cosmetics section. As a young girl going into Japan, this was my favourite thing to do, to shop for Japanese cosmetics. I'm very excited to look at it, but I'm also very panicky because it's very crowded and very hectic. So I feel like people are gonna push me to get to their favourite mascara or something. What's this? There's like a whole range of like, Double eyelid glue. It's something really popular in Japan. For you to look like from this to like, I can't do it. This? Is that a good look? Uh, you like, always look good. Okay, thanks. It's like, it gives you a deeper crease. Check out this wall of eyelashes. How crazy is this? The entire row is just eyelashes. Okay, I don't really stick like falsies, but I don't know, is, is this cheap? $20 for that? This is like $2 per lash. So every time you stick them on, that's four bucks you're using. Hey, check out all the nail polish. This part reminds me a little bit of Daiso. I guess it's like a cosmetic store, but like very, very large scale. So it's like $7.20 for one nail polish like that. That's not cheap, right? It's super tiny. Yeah, no, that's not cheap. Yeah. I don't know, I think for something that's supposed to be a discount store, I'm not finding all the things very cheap. Like seriously, you can get nail polish like this for like... I don't know, a dollar, two yeah. bucks. And if I were to buy a whole range of colours, that's gonna cost me a bomb. I haven't found a product where I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe they're selling it yet. But let's see. So far, it seems like there are just a lot of things in display. Lots of different brands. Lots of different well. brands, but a lot of them like we don't have in Singapore. And there's no tester, so we don't get a try. I'm not sure if I would like take the leap to just buy something new. Yeah. Pink paper towel. Someone needs to tag Wendy. She'll buy this for her entire house. And does it smell like peach? Yeah! Ooh! So if you use this, your bum bum will smell like peaches. So I found my first thing that I haven't seen elsewhere. It says exclusive, so you know they only have it here. It's a nose hair plucker. It's pretty graphic. You can see all the strands of hair being plucked out. So I guess you just dip it in the wax, you put it in your nose and then you yank it out. You let it dry, harden, and then you yank it out. Sounds so painful. Why guys, why? The snack section in Donkey is just peppered everywhere. So downstairs, they have like a whole area selling snacks. Over here, they also have another area. I didn't see this anywhere else. Kind of like corn snacks, 
I don't even know what this is, like mint? I've not seen this no, before. It's like the sweet that fizzles. Oh. Like it can't taste like 100 plus. This is a jumbo sized caramel corn. I mean, usually we see it this size, and then this one is like a bigger pack. I think it's cool that the sweets are so cheap. It's like 80 cents for a packet of candy. If you don't want to commit to like a giant bag of sweets, you can just buy the mini size. Compared to the Donkey Hotels in Japan, I think the selection here is pretty much about the same. This is like another jumbo size pack of Japanese snacks. I know you can get jumbo size snacks in, let's say, Giants or, or Sing Siong or something, but this is like a Japanese snack. I'm gonna look for this cookie that I love, I absolutely love, and I can't find it here. And every time I go to Japan, I need to eat it. What, what does it look like? Have you looked for it? It's, it's called Country Ma'am. Oh. Oh, I found it! This is my favorite cookie! I can eat this whole thing in like one sitting. What's so good about it? I don't know, it's just the texture of it. The, I'm gonna buy one and okay. then we can eat it later. Okay. This moment is the moment where I can tell you why people come to this place specifically to look for that one thing that they can't find in other places and when they find it, like even if I walked out with just this thing, I'll be so happy. Now the question that I have is, you know how when you, go to, when you travel to Japan for a holiday and then you buy all these snacks and you come back, gonna give it to all my friends and then now you can get them here? I know! You can fly to Japan and you can come back and you can buy the snacks over here and pretend that you bought it from them over there but then you save luggage space. Idea. Okay, so we've reached a section where I see a lot of traditional Japanese snacks. You know, like when you go to like a Japanese supermarket, you see like premium Japanese snacks. But over here, it looks like you can get all sorts. There's some sweets in these little tins that kind of resembles snacks that you could get like at a mama shop. I would assume that these are snacks from like a Japanese person's childhood. The, the people behind us are saying like natsukashi, which means it's very nostalgic. So definitely these are snacks that they do eat when they were younger. I was right. This is interesting. It's like clear water that tastes like things. <laughs> that's like the worst description ever. Recently there's been this trend. Tea flavoured water, water that's water. clear. This yeah. is like yogurt flavoured water. These are like my favourite things to get when I land in the Japanese airport. Like just Japanese tea? Yeah. Okay, so these are things that are like very Japanese-y toys, I guess. I bet this is just like a pair of stockings but then you add a picture and people will be like Ooh, this is a toy, I can now buy it Go home, put it over my head and pull it and look like this picture But actually it's just a pair of stockings <laughs> See? Hey Ross, Ross, we wear that leopard print bodysuit for Halloween For Halloween I would And they're selling yukata, so I'm gonna wear it to your wedding <laughs> Okay, so you want to wear this to my wedding mm -hmm. And I was like, mm, because it's actually a sex yukata it's a sex costume, Jen. How do you know? Look how short the skirt is. Is no. that what you want to wear? No, I changed my mind. So I guess you have all these knickknacks for you to like dress up as different characters. Like I guess you can cosplay a little, but I would I wouldn't say this is like real cosplay. This is just like Halloween costumes. I want to ask you something. Yeah. Can you tell me if this is a man? That is a man. It looks like a man to me, right? So this is a costume for a man. I know. Isn't to it amazing? To be dressed as a woman. And there's a whole line of costumes for men right here. It's all the same man. <laughs> this is um, underwear that has bells, so when you walk... Here we are at the seasonal goods section, which means just Japanese Christmas things. Things. Now it's Christmas, so they sell Christmas things, and Halloween will be Halloween decor, but I have to say I'm really a little bit disappointed. Because when I saw on the map, I thought seasonal was like, much is the season for cherries. So we're gonna sell all cherries, but no. This one's a bit underwhelming. I think this is like my favorite section so far. This is like a, I don't even know what it is, like a mini pool for you to put your noodles in, let it swim around and you just like eat off it. And then you can put the condiments in the middle. That's so cool. Exclusive only at Christmas. Then there's another sign here that says only at Don Don Donkey. So it's exclusive to this store. Here we are at the souvenir section and it's half empty. I guess the souvenir area is like not little knickknacks like fridge magnets or whatever it's actually like the japanese food souvenirs that you can actually get at the airport itself before you fly out of the country they've actually brought it here this looks so good should i get it what is it it's a green tea red bean tart and this one it says hokkaido rare cheesecake oh i really God. wish i knew what it looked like so i could buy one this is a cue to the cashier and all i want is to buy my cookies and i was thinking of um coming back to get it another day but I already opened it so I have to pay for it it's today. It's a really long queue. But actually I have to say the line is moving quite fast like we literally take a step every second so at least we're not like stuck in the line. Okay Ross, you queue here. I'm going to show them how long the queue is. 
Actually, everyone's basket is so full. Ross should definitely get more things. It's not she cute, very boha. Ta-da! It's like... It's like a really long queue. I thought it was really fun. And if you've actually never been to Japan, that is like a peek into the world of crazy appliances and snacks that Japan would have. Actually, for me, I felt very panicky when I was inside because there were too many people it's everywhere. It's very claustrophobic. It's very so claustrophobic. Maybe you should go when it's a little quieter. Yeah, I think I will go at like 2-3 a.m. when there's like hopefully nobody. I'm going to eat my cookie now that I've been dying to eat. And it's still as fantastic as I remember it. Don Don Donkey in Singapore has a great selection. I think it's very exciting that in one shop you can have so many different things. As for prices, some things are a little bit more expensive, some things like the snacks are cheaper. Yeah. So I think it really depends. The thing that really differentiates it is like the atmosphere. They make you feel as though, oh, it's not just another supermarket. It's like really Japanese and really different. Okay, so I think we can both agree that this place is definitely worth, worth the hype. hype. I'm just happy they have my cookies. That's the end of the video. And if you haven't already done so, go download the Click Network app so that you can watch all the videos before they come out on YouTube. Yeah. So till next time, bye! bye.